It has been so long since I streamed from my house that I I plum forgot how to how to uh, start my stream over here. Like it it took me it took me a couple to get it figured out, but uh, here we are, uh, ready to go. I did step on a small piece of glass just before starting the stream, so I, I may need to interrupt it at some point in order to stanch the bleeding. But for right now, I, I think it was just a little guy. It just kind of, it stung a bit, but it was nothing, nothing major. So I, th I think we'll be all right. Um, I'm going to be playing Detroit Become Human tonight. I have been wanting to play it since it came out. It came, I bought it, then it came out for free, and then I didn't play it. Like the, I haven't played it at all. So uh, we're going to find out. Uh, if this game is any good, I suspect the answer to that question is no, uh, because I have not heard critical acclaim for it, and because just about all of the Quantic Dream games uh, have a, a sort of a, a mechanic that I'll get into later as, uh, as I go in. But uh, uh, Indigo will likely pop in on the stream and tell you why she hates all of the games directed by this this one guy. Um and, and the word she will become very uh, important in that conversation uh, because apparently he, he just has no idea how to write women. And if my experience in uh, uh, Heavy Rain is any indication, I would say that she's right. Um, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see because uh, there is a female character in this. Uh, so we'll see if she's a horrible stereotype or a character who exists solely to uh, benefit the males around her or something like that. We'll, we'll figure it out. Figure it out. Is, is she a person or is she uh, a, <laughs> a device that exists uh, to serve the plot? We'll, we'll find out. I got, I'm trying to fix my cable here. So my headphone cable is a little, a little wonky. But uh, just making sure everything is live. Everything is live. Cool, cool, cool. We're ready to go. If anybody wants to pop into chat, and uh, and I will, I will begin the game. Here we go. Like, I, don't, I don't know, is this the kind of game that I would need to switch to the, the dark visual mode for, or is it the sort of game that I should just uh, play in, in light mode? I don't know. I don't know, we'll find out. Ah, circles, spinny loading mechanisms. Grid index, A9.1. Yes, this is the future. Ah, Quantic Dream. This came out in 2018. I got a bit behind, didn't I? Hello. Hi. Welcome to the Detroit Experience. Uh, how's I'm it going? I'm Android, and I'll be your hostess. Are you? Before we begin, let's make some adjustments to optimize your experience. Oakley dokley. These language settings were detected on your console. Are they correct? No. Can I change it to... I do not have the option for Norwegian. That makes me sad. Uh, text language. Uh, subtitles are on. Subtitle size, small, medium, large. Uh, I, I feel like... I feel like medium's good. Medium's good. Yes, they are correct. You have, you have done well. Please adjust your screen settings. Uh, should I? Uh, clearly visible. Barely visible. Not visible. Okay. Uh, for the purpose of the stream, I'm gonna crank it just a little bit. There we go. Yes, good. Thank you. Now select your profile. Uh, 
D difficulty. Experienced. Casual. I want to focus on the story with simpler controls, a more forgiving challenge, with fewer chances to lose a character. Well, I, I guess, yeah. Uh, that's, that's me. I've never played the game before. When this sign is displayed, please do not turn off your console. Okay. You are now ready to begin Detroit. Am Remember, I? Remember, this is not just a story. This is our future. Are you sure? August 15th, 2038. Not a lot of time between here and there. So we figured out this character is an android. Because he has unnatural agility, but he's also fidgety. On site. On site. Um, okay, I'm already in control. Cool. Take. Phillips, John, Lives, Murder, Phillips, Carolyn, Chicago, Phillips, Emma. What if I don't want to put it back? What if I want to take it with me? And keep it forever? I am an android. There is a fish here. Please, please, you gotta save my little girl. I will please. save your little girl. I am an android. An android? All right, ma'am. You, you need to go. You can't do that. You... Why aren't you sending a real person? What's the matter with androids? Dwarf Gorami. Well, let's save the fish. It doesn't deserve to die. Good luck, little buddy. No, I, you know what? I'm not interested in the story at all yet. I'm going to go ahead and just watch the fish. Look around using the right stick. Wow. What? Ooh, wow, that's a, that looks like a betta. Some sort. Uh, uh, there's the dwarf Gorami. <laughs> the android is just fascinated with the, the fish tank. He couldn't be buggered with, uh, with whatever hostage situation is evolving around him. Substantially more curious about what lovely fish. I wish I had been made an android fish instead of an android human. Ah, what a simple life. How admirable. Not a care in the world, except maybe where your next fish flake is coming from. Well, I suppose I'd probably better go negotiate some hostage shit. Shine on, you beautiful diamonds. What? He's just drunk. He just showed up android drunk. Consult R2 to consult your objectives. Find Captain Allen. Okay, is this Captain Allen? Are you Captain Allen? I am seeking Captain Allen. SWAT. Are you Captain Allen? Ah, uh, you look important. Are you Captain Allen? Captain Allen, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's firing at everything that moves. It already shot down two of my men. We could easily get it, but they're on the edge of the balcony. If it falls, she falls. Deviant's name. Do you know its name? I haven't got a clue. Does it matter? I need information to determine the best approach. Has it experienced an emotional shock recently? Listen. Saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, or I'll take care of it. 
Okay. I seek to understand what happened. There was... Oh, what's this? A gun goes here. It's a Black Hawk. The munition is missing. There is another clue present at this location. Reconstruct. L2 or R2 to review the reconstruction. Deviant took the father's gun. Okay. I mean, yeah, okay. That's all fairly straightforward and, and obvious. Hey, Laura, how you doing? I'm attempting to solve a crime. Search hostages room. Oh, a lot of camera focus issues here. Examine this. What is on your crystal clear tablet? Deviant's name is Daniel. Doing good. Had a birthday dinner for Matt's uncle. Nice. What'd you eat? Okay. Probability of success is growing. Hostages room searched. Uh, okay, so I got I got to look in there. But I didn't actually get to learn anything from it. Can I hello? Can we can we fix this camera situation? Because I'd really like to... No? Okay. No. I don't get to fix the... Berg, bergs. Bergs and dogs. My brother-in-law cooks the best burgers. Oh, nice. Examine the victims. The, the negotiator is not moving in. The negotiator is investigating the crime scene. DPD first responder... Uh, he dead. Oops. Right hent heart ventricle perforated, internal bleeding. Okay. It's a shame that that cop had to die. What's this? Gunshot residue. Lead stifnate. Antimony sulfide. Only one shot. Reconstruct. Oh, wow. We're firing in this direction. When they... Oh, they successfully shot the other. Hostage witnessed the shooting. Well, that will probably traumatize her for life now, won't it? The gun is under the table. 
Okay, we have all of the information we need. This is actually kind of fascinating. I, uh... I like this crime scene investigation mechanic. This is cool. Analyze. There is goo on the ground. Oh, don't eat that! You don't know where it's been! Fresh blue blood. Android wounded. Okie dokie. TV model PL600. The gun is under the table. Let's get that gun. We might need that gun. You never know. Take the gun. Androids are strictly forbidden to carry and use any... Well, if I'm forbidden to take it, then I can't take it. I'm gonna put it back. I'm an android. I'm... Jesus, fuck! Holy shit! Cover me while I back you. Man down. I repeat, man down. Let's immediate email. Alright, we've got another guy done. Interesting. Someone turn off that pot. Family was about to have dinner. When there was some sort of disagreement. What are we waiting for? We should take down this asshole. Each shot. Buddha. Praise to Buddha! Gunshot wound. Left kidney perforated. Fatal abdominal trauma. Okay. Internal bleeding. Okay, so this motherfucker got shot thrice. Oh, he dead. The individual was over there. Why'd you shoot him? You approached him from behind with a gun? This was cold-blooded. Father was holding something. What was he holding? What's that? Uh, yeah, this is... I'm, I'm a huge Philip K. Dick fan, so that... Which one are you reading? Constructed that. Unlock the device. He was going to buy a new android. I believe I have a motive. They were going to buy a newer, better android. The android had bonded with the girl, and they couldn't stand the thought of leaving. What's this? Gunshots here, too. Examine this toy, or this shoe. Child size shoe. A colorful model. Human shoe. Hostage could be wounded. Okay. Alright. Uh, Laura, I am open to direction here. Should I go outside? Should I. Is there anything.
Is there anything I've missed? I'm open to suggestions. The hell? What the fuck are you doing? You gotta talk to it or what? Very well. Easy now. Stay back! Don't come any closer or I'll jump! betrayed you, but she's done nothing wrong. She lied to me! I thought she loved me. But I was wrong. She's just like all the other humans. Daniel, no! Possible cause. They were going to replace you, and you became upset. That's what happened, right? I thought I was part of the family. Matter. But I was just there too. Something to throw away when you're done with it. Listen, I know it's not your fault. These emotions you're feeling are just errors in your software. No, it's not my fault. I never wanted this. I love them, you know? I was nothing to them. Just a slave to be ordered around. I can't stand that noise anymore. I tell that helicopter to get out of here. Very well. You're going to want to go someplace else. Trust me. You have to trust me, Daniel. Let the hostage go, and I promise you, everything will be fine. I want everyone to leave! And I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. Mm, we're going to need to compromise a little bit on that. That's impossible, Daniel. Let the girl go, and I promise you won't be hurt. I don't want to die. I'm going to reassure you here. You're not going to die. You're just going to talk. Nothing will happen to you. You have my word. Okay. I trust you. Mission successful. You are a good android. You obeyed the people.
Sorry, I uh, I didn't mean to ignore your your message there. That was just um. There's like when you have like a an option tree like that, there's a little meter that's like ticking down. Um, and I, I realized it was kind of like I I don't have a choice in making a choice. Um, the man in the high castle. I was a huge fan of the show. Finally getting to the book, which is different so far. Both are good in their own way. It's my first uh, Philip K. Dick book. Uh, but I'm liking his writing so far, so I'll definitely read more. Um, Do Android Stream of Electric Sheep was uh, a, a book that I read in high school instead of reading The Great Gatsby. Because I started reading The Great Gatsby and I went, wow, these people are awful. I don't like any of them. And uh, I guess apparently that's kind of the point of the book, but I figured it out in a couple chapters. So... Uh, I said to my English teacher, what's it going to do to my grade if I just don't read this book or do any of the related course material? And he's like, it's kind of a big unit. You'd probably go down like a full letter grade. And I was like, done. Slap the book on his desk and then said, what else you got? And I read Do Android's Dream of Electric Sheep. Uh, and he actually wrote a custom uh, test about it for me and uh, and didn't dock my grade at all because he was like eh, kid doesn't want to read Gatsby but at least he wants to read like that's cool I can work with that and so I, I, I think it was a pretty cool choice on his part uh, let's see here here you can review the here you can review the paths you've taken the paths yet to be explored and what possibilities you've unlocked <clears throat> each note earns you points that you can spend in the extras due to the nature of the game some nodes and endings will not be uh, counted toward the completion of the flowchart. Okay. Snipers shot deviant. Sniper. No snipe. Bing, 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 bing. Snipe. Snipe, 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 snipe. Bing. No, no. Search for clues. Wasted too much time. SWAT injured. Well, fuck you. I was looking around. And he was injured. He's not dead. Everything's fine. Jesus Christ. Everything's updating. <laughs> All right, so the sniper shot his ass. Eh, at least the little girl didn't die. Cool. Uh, what do I do now? November 5th, 2038. Cyberlife Incorporated. Loading OS, system initialization. Checking bio components. Initializing bio sensors. Initializing AI engine. This is the top of the range household assistant. Cooks 10, Come on, Zoe, let's go. And handles the kids' elementary school. But good afternoon. Can I wow. help? Honey, it looks amazing. This is exactly what we need. Spare parts. It does absolutely all the work around the house. Painting, plumbing, gardening, repairs. At night, it switches to surveillance mode. Contacts emergency services if there's break-in or... There it is. Hey, buddy. It was a bit difficult getting it back in working order. Okay. It was really messed up. What'd you say happened to it again? <clears throat> the car hit it. Stupid accident. Oh. Car so, hit it, huh? Anyway, it's as good as new now. So except that we had to reset it. Meaning we had to wipe its memory. I hope you don't mind. It'll be fine. Okay. Did you give it a name? My daughter did. AX400, register your name. Kara. My name is Kara. This guy seems, um... Wait, what? We're doing another credit sequence? I, I guess that beginning was like a... Just sort of like a tone setter? I, I don't know what the... Clancy! Yeah, I'm sorry, but if we ever get to a point where we have, like, 
androids that look that human, I'm gonna have some trouble dissociating them from humans. I'm gonna not feel comfortable treating them like slave labor. I, I, like, just fucking make it look like a robot. You know what I mean? It, it, <laughs> the Uncanny Valley is there for a reason, because it's, there's a fucking terrifying moral dilemma on the other end of it. Just make it look like a robot, and don't give it intelligence, just give it functions. <laughs> this is just, it's just so fucked to me. This is just slave labor. Like, you're just watching Bill, hey, here, oh, there are the slaves. Like, it's, it's fucking creepy. I lost my job because of androids. No, you lost your job because there's an elite class that rules all of us and they chose to replace you with androids. Androids didn't do shit to you, buddy. Oh, they can make the human skin look great, but those trees look like shit. Kids sure do love those slaves. Would you like to go home now? What the now I'm this one? Can we make up our mind? Let me help you. No, I am here to disturb the baby. The illusion of choice. It's a metaphor. They give you branching paths, but then they make you... Are you alright, sir? Water. You have run 12 miles. No, 5 miles away from your goal. <laughs> that man was a dick. I am sorry that he did that to you. I am now going to walk in front of a police car. Don't make me wait for the green light. Let me go. I will pace menacingly until I am allowed to go. I am like Darth Maul. The f shit? What? There is a homeless person here. You've been replaced. Ha 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 ha. I am an android. Ha <laughs> oh, the camera control mechanism on this game is uh, uh, not great. GPS. Your goal is 60 meters ahead. Walk into this douchebag. No? You can't. Watch the music. Your music is satisfactory. It is most soothing. Wait, what? Human music, a dollar to hear. I get it. They are racist. Fuck you, humans. I am robot. Meow meow. <laughs> How you doing, baby? I'm playing a David Cage game. How does it make you feel? Because you are wearing glasses, which is a form of technology. I can see through you. 
You are the one by whom the evil will come. You are the one who will destroy Detroit. I have done nothing to you. We make these I will continue staring at you. Age, but they only reflect the darkness in our souls. Verily, I say, Verily, I say unto you, take off your clothes. It is technology. Bellini paints. Hey, isn't that the guy who bought the girl Kara? Uh, ear. <laughs> I love it. Uh, Bellini Pants makes selection order. Identification of progress. Verified. Please give me the pants. Here is your order number 847. That will be 6399. Please confirm payment. Why would I have to pay that if there's an order? If they placed an order, I would have thought they would have paid for it. This is the future, remember. We have that technology today I'm not no I'm not paying I'm just gonna sit here and not pay okay so I I have no option but to pay so why make me hit the button to pay is this a metaphor because the android doesn't have control of itself. And I, as the person playing a game, also don't have control of myself. It's just my choice is just press that button. Pay the toll. <laughs> right. I'll pay. Do, 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 do. Payment confirmed. Oh, wasn't all of that completely unnecessary? Wasn't it totally pointless for me to even say that? Or for you to even ask for it, if we can just mentally send payments. Okay. Retrieve order at Bellini Paints. Package collected. Take bus home. Again. Fucking send drones. This is bullshit. We've seen drones. This package could be carried by a drone. I've seen them flying around all over the goddamn place. There's one right there! But no, send the incredibly expensive, complicated, humanoid analog to, to go pick up some fucking paints, you dumb fucks. At the beginning of this game, they had the balls to tell me this is our future. No, we're too cheap for this. We'll never do this. I'm going to walk through the protest. Where the fuck you going, Tin Can? Hmm? Oh, good. Hey, guys, check it out. We got one of those tin cans here. Look at this little motherfucker. You steal our jobs, but you can't even stand up. <laughs> what if I just lie here? What do you do if I just lie here? This is... I mean, I get it. It's a good metaphor for, like, these people would be, like, screaming at Mexicans or whatever. And it's like, okay, are you mad at the Mexican person? Or are you mad at the corporation that doesn't want to pay a living wage so they hire somebody, like, at a... At a subhuman wage that they, and then you're mad at the person who's like just trying to get by and they're living a life that's like nowhere near what you want to be living uh, you know so like everybody in the situation is miserable except for the big CEO I think I could just come here and sit a job like I haven't done shit I was built you know so it, it, it's it's a, I get the metaphor it's a bit heavy handed but I can live with that I am frustrated with this, though. 
Because there's no other... Oh, they kicked me down. Okay. What? They'd be so confused. They'd be like, what is he doing? That voice actress is really good at being awful. Your bitch ass out. Yeah, waste it. Do it. All right. It's enough. Leave it alone. Now punch the cop. Let us teach this bastard a lesson. Damage it, I'm gonna have to find you. You can take your job next. Let's see how you like it. Okay. Let's go. Run along. You have damaged the product that my slave master ordered. That was tense. That was a tense moment in a video game. Wait for bus. Do not wait for bus. Bus is here. Just walk. Bus stop is not this way. I know. I am at the bus stop. Wait for bus. Get on bus. Enter bus. Android fan. That was really, really Android banned. Not allowed at this point. Oh, we go into this door. I see. We must sit at the back of the bus. Another heavy handed metaphor. It's, it seems to me that, like, sometimes they, they do have feelings. They're shades of color. Marcus took the bus. That is the full extent of that episode. I Marcus took the bus. I listened to a busker. I watched a preacher. A preacher yelled at me. Uh, yeah, that was... What What else might I have done there? Who knows? Ah, uh, it's Bumpton. Now we're catching up with Kara. Uh, here's an idea. Don't just randomly throw me into Marcus after you've introduced Kara. Maybe, maybe like... Okay, so the guy who lives in this house can afford an android. The technology must have accelerated really rapidly. Oh. Oh. I wonder what happens if I just sit here. This is going to be like half of the stream. Androids are like 10 bucks. Yeah. He, he was like, eh, it's this or a 40. You coming? I'm malfunctioning. My memory was reset. You said I was hit with a car. Yeah, he spent every last penny on this android. You know, you're not... You guys aren't allowing for anywhere near as much comedy as I was hoping for from just sitting here. I, I was really hoping that you would, like, I don't know, let me... Like, that you would get mad that I'm not coming to, like... Are you gonna come get me? Young lady, don't make me come over there and collect you. Like, get... Get angry. Like when Red Dogs blow all their money on guns in a boat. It's disturbingly true. I'm really bummed out that he didn't do anything. He just stood there patiently waiting for me. Use R1 to switch the camera angle. 
Okay. Join Todd. Do I have to? Ah. Other types of machines. I wonder if they are driven by... If we have androids, then we don't have fucking people driving those machines anymore. That's that's just not happening. Why is there why is there like a cab on that? Wouldn't it just be robotic? I I hope it's not a robo wife. The, my so my robot Kara here. Well, I was he picked me up in a shop. They had to repair me. They had to reset my memory and stuff. Uh, I was heavily damaged. I don't know what happened. He said I was hit by a car. But I get a feeling that he just like just just bought an android to beat up or something. I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna find out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna point out every goddamn flaw in this game. I, I I don't know if sex bots exist. It's possible that she's a sex robot. Sex you robot. Two weeks, so the place is a mess. You do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals, and you take care of. God damn it! Where the fuck's the brat gone now? Alice. Alice! Oh, there you are. That's Alice. You look after her. Homework, bath, all that crap. Got it? You raised my kid for me. Get started down here, then you do upstairs. <laughs> it's like, you've been gone for two weeks, so the place looks like crap. I'd be like, it looked like crap to begin with, Todd. Hold R2 to scan your environment. Scanning the environment. She look, you look like Katniss Everdeen. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess I'll go do some urgent tasks. Uh, collect trash. Scanning for beer cans. They are literally everywhere. Alright, what is what is my urgent task? Collect the trash. Okay. I am taking the trash. The trash has been collected. I cannot find any trash in this location, except for the trash bag. Is this literally the game I'm gonna be fucking cleaning uh, an asshole's house for him? He's <laughs> scanning for trash. Sir, I must take you out of the domicile. <laughs> the house cleaning simulator. Clean counter. Clean the coffee table. He's gonna hit me when I get in the way of the TV. There's all the beer. Just tons and tons of beer. I have... That is the highest priority task. Now I will put it right back there. Let us take the trash outside. This is even better than the scene in Heavy Rain where I got to take a piss and then flush the toilet. Application rejected? Credit card application. For How'd you get a fucking robot? Overdrawn notice. East Detroit gas. Pay now. How? how no, seriously. How did you get a rope? You don't have the trash in your hand there. Now you have the trash in your hand again. Now, now you have one. Okay. Urgent tasks. Took out trash. Con continuity error in a video game. Get, hey, look look at that. A bus. How fascinating. It is down. Bound for 53 downtown. Android banned. Androids must ride in the back. Let's reinforce that metaphor. You know what would be really genuinely saying something? What would be actually interesting is... Uh, let's imagine for, for just a brief shining moment that this game comes out and at first there's like a heavy-handed metaphor for, for uh, slavery or for second-class citizens for racism with the androids. And you're like, oh, God, well, that's obvious. But then they actually twisted it. And there was still racism against black people in the future. 
Because I haven't seen any evidence of that yet. It's just, oh, we are one society and everything's fine. And now the androids are the ones we shit on. No, man, I guarantee you, if the androids get here, we're still going to be shitty to each other. And so that would have been saying something. That would have been taking this game to an interesting place. Uh, but I, I really don't... I don't think David Cage has got it in him. I don't, I don't think he's got it. I'm going to go report to David. Little girl's hiding under the table. She seems upset. Nice TV. Maybe sell it to pay your bills. Maybe stop buying crack. Beer and a crack pipe. Out of the way, for fuck's sake. I'm sorry, Todd. It won't happen again. I it looks like like a like a crack pipe, yeah. Yeah, he's this quality dude right here. I'm watching him I'm walking in front of the TV. Oh, he's getting real fucked up over there. I've made a good start down here. I'll head upstairs. Do what you have to do and stop bothering me. Can I walk in front of the TV? No, I can't. He's just... Just getting lit in front of his daughter. Can I? Oh my god. Oh my god, the camera angles. Oh my god, the camera angles. Yeah, hockey's still around. This guy's just losing his shit in front of his daughter. You can reread discovered articles in the extra section. Thrilling. Android power. Should it be outlawed? Can I... Can I press anything? No? That was... That was weird. I couldn't press anything. So does he like just sit there and talk shit about you while he gets high? I'm going to take your That's toy a now. Toy. What's its name? You don't talk much, do you? No, bitch, I will not be ignored. <laughs> I'm going to come over here, and I want to know what that fox says. I'm just going to stand here staring at her for a while. What does that fox say? Tell me what the fox says. Damn it, little girl! I uh, Well, I think that's the direction we're headed in. Clean upstairs. Look at all of his bills. Clean upstairs. I don't like that it sounds like he's orgasming. That makes me uncomfortable. And now to sports. First up, basketball. As the gears prepare God, no. Oh, I see. Okay, it's this path. That's a neat little movie inside of a game. He comes upstairs and finds me just watching TV. Like I'm... Uh-oh. It's getting foggy everywhere, kid. I love the idea, like, objective-wise, it just is like, fuck around for a while. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. That's a David Cage game, so we know the dude is going to try to assault the android. Yeah, probably. Realistically speaking. Wait, is it, what the fuck? I, I'm not touching anything. 
It's just kind of cycling now. Fascinating. Uh, make, make the bed. Clean up the cheese puffs. Find Daddy's stash. This is the most fascinating goddamn game I've ever played in my life. I just made a bed. Welton contains tan. Oops. He's got a gun. Made the simulator. You've unlocked a dialogue. Tidy. He's got vinyl? Alright, well then he can't be all bad. What an odd magazine. Uh, no, I'm not going to... Oh my god. I'm not going to read a magazine article. In a video game. Unless it's Deus Ex. In which case, yeah, I'll read that. Pick it up. What is it? Is it you? Is it you on the cover of the magazine? What what was that? What was that moment? Maybe it was a porno mag? Maybe. Ventilate. Yeah, this place is gonna need some ventilation. I'll give you that. I mean, it's gonna smell like downtown, but what are you gonna do? Clean mess. I would love to. There's certainly more to clean. I, I have I have a ch I'm it's a whole checklist of house cleaning chores. Okay. See you later, Todd's room. Watch it. Clean the bathroom after Todd has finished taking a shit. Todd has destroyed the bathroom. Please repair the bathroom. Oh, thank you for sparing us that. And making it so that I didn't actually have to see it. Because that, that would have been something. You have another bathroom? Todd? Todd? Todd, how can you afford this many bathrooms? You have an android and you have two bathrooms. What's the deal? On one floor. Within inches of each other. What? What is? What is that? I guess the idea is you're discovering more about their lives through cleaning. I, I suppose, yes. I, yeah. I, well, it's, you, we don't need. To, he doesn't need two bathrooms. I, are we gonna do this? I'm. I'm. I'm rubbing. What if I stop? That's so jank. Look at that. I, I, ju I just stop in the middle of it. This is... Uh, yes. David Cage knows exactly what gamers want. Gamers want to clean a bathroom in a slum household. What else do I have? <laughs> Look in the mirror. Be terrified at your own grim visage. Yep, that's you. I claimed that I seriously. No. Stare into the dark portal of the abyss. Let the void look back into you. I. What? Hang. No, hang on. Hang on. Do you have a snorkel in your bathroom? God damn it, camera angle. I'm not playing right now. I need you to work with me here. 
That that is a that is a a, di a pair of diving goggles and a snorkel in the bathtub. That is what that I'm co I'm coming back at it. I need to prove this. We're we're gonna go out here, and then we're gonna turn back around. We're gonna go in there, and I want you to look. I want you to look at that. No, all right. Well, I can't get a better angle of it, but that's I mean that that's what that is. Why do you have that in that bath? Don't tell me you're putting your head underwater in that tub. Look at that tub. No. I I don't want to believe it. I believe it with this guy, but I don't want to believe it. Hello, Allison. I just want to tidy up your room a little. Alice, hello, Alice. I only need two minutes. Is that okay, Alice? Why are you afraid of me? Is it because every other large person in your life is a monster? I am here to make your bed. With your disgusting pillow. I am here to ventilate the room. Breathe in the fresh city air. There is a ledge outside the window. Interesting. Alice in Wonderland. Alice in Wonderland. Which, yeah, maybe it's the town of. We must let out the crack fumes. Yes. I like how she ginger. Ah, careful, careful. Okay, there we go. Couldn't have walked around it. You <laughs> I am going to invade your personal property. May I do that, Alice? Alice, may I do that? That is a terrifying marionette you have hanging from your uh, coat rack, Alice. Alice, can we be friends, Alice? I need to develop a relationship with you so that I can kill your father. I'm sure we used to be friends before I was reset. Maybe we can be friends again. My name is Kara. Your father said you chose my name. Kara, it's nice. How did you choose it? You seem quiet. What are your interests? What you like to do, where you like to go, your favorite foods. That would really help me. You seem quiet. You're very quiet. I hope I don't scare you. The fuck? She runs from room to room. The dad will either try to assault the android or his daughter, and then they will have to murder him, and the android and Alice will become a team. So I, th I think I think you're a hundred percent right. I gotta carefully step over this book. No, I'm kidding. I'm not gonna open it. Let's get out of here. Okay, it looks like there may be a period of time in this guy's life when he wasn't an utter pile of trash. The lucky four-leaf clover. He's got a picture of the family before things went wrong. And a horrifying image of a bloody head wound. Hang on, I want to get a second look at this uh, bloody head wound. All right, that's enough. No, let's 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 look at the bloody head wound again. That's uh, okay. I, are these jokes working? Dad, dad looking like a fucking <laughs> like a like a mob guy who retired. And then made a video about real estate. Look at that fucking tracksuit. Jesus Christ. Alright. 
Okay, so so Dad hit the robot. Yeah, Dad broke the robot, and then she was sad. Yeah, he said a car hit it, but it, it didn't. Um... I wonder if he if he hit me because I got between him and the television. Let's go back in the bathroom. No, let's. I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna see if I can piss this dad off. It's gonna be fun. I'm gonna kind of like um, provoke him a little. What are you doing? Playing with a doll. I'm playing. Play. I know what you're thinking. You think your dad's a low life, huh? Fucking loser. Can't get a job, take care of his family. Well, yeah. Don't you think I tried to make things work? But whatever I do, when someone comes along, they just fuck it all up! I know what you think of me. You hate me. You hate me, don't you? Say it! You hate me! God. What am I doing? Uh, I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. You know I love you, don't you? You know I love you. At least he's not one-dimensional. At least he's not, like... Because he could have just been, like, shit... I'm shitty dad, you know? But, like, at least he was, like, sorry that he was shitty dad, you know? Cleaning first floor. A lot of missed opportunities in cleaning the first floor. I did disturb Todd, which is excellent news. Uh, go upstairs. Car discovers a way down. Car sees gun. Okay. I I'm at least interested. Like I'm I'm curious. There are long stretches where I'm like, what are we doing? Why is this, is this a game? Um, but then there's other parts where it's like, it's less like a game and more like a, like a go at your own pace story. You know what I mean? Cause like you could just, I, I can just stop reading the book if I want to right now, Marcus, he's not going anywhere, y you know, but like. Other than that, there's, I, I don't get a lot of options. Um, it's curious. I'm going upstairs. Deposit package. No. No, I'm going upstairs. Deposit package. No. No, I'm going, I'm going in here. Alright, I'm going in here. Oh, alright. You gotta deposit the package. I'm I'm letting this bird out. <laughs> it, was, it was facing towards me a second ago, and then it was like, "Here's my asshole. Do what you will. <laughs> Turn on." <laughs> oh, well, he, he points his ass at you so that you can turn him on. You know. All right, All right put him put him back in the. Yeah, man, put him in the cage. Put him in there. Alright, now make sure you know how to turn this bird on. Row birds. Some posh shit right there. That's a... That's a... Do androids dream of electric sheep reference. L1. Yeah, it's got some good paintings. I like that. Good stuff. All right, I'll deposit... No, I'm going to look in the mirror. Hey, he's got a cool skull on the wall. Like an artfully decorated skull. 
What a nice house. This person has money. Bellini paints. Deposit the package. Take care of Carl. Wake Carl upstairs. Uh, are those two, um, that's, that's, okay. Uh, so my owner's a dirty bird. I got it. He's got himself a real cool looking skeleton. <laughs> the baby chandelier? Wait, I didn't see, what, I, maybe I wasn't paying attention. I don't think I saw a baby chandelier. Was it like a chandelier made from a baby? Or are we talking like it was a small chandelier? Because now I'm going to have to check out this baby chandelier. Now I ain't going in there. I got to check out this baby chandelier. Chandelier with babies on it, and it's like, oh, yeah, no, nope. don't like those babies. Don't, don't, oh, no. For the record, not just babies. Cherubim. No, they've got octopus feet. What the fuck? What the fuck? Why have they got octopus feet? It's the worst. It's not even like a mermaid where they've got one bottom. There's, It's like a dual... It's like a double-headed nightmare. I hate it. Yeah, that's a horrible chandelier. All right, looking in the kitchen. Bringing the food. Preparing, preparing the breakfast. Clearing it. Take tray to dining table. Oh, okay. Where's the dining table? Not through there. Here's, here is the dining table. Put down the tray. With its weird fig things. I, I don't know what those are supposed to be. What a crazy ass house. Screen line cast. You can't just call it a TV. It's a line cast because, you know, our, our cultural language evolves quickly enough that from 2021... To 2038 will have totally changed the way that we talk about fucking television. Yep, that's a giraffe's packs. Oh, oh, yeah. All right, let's go in the weird. Oh, damn. Play poker face. Play Papa, Papa, Razzi. The, the, okay, so this guy's, he's not just a pretentious art collector. He's a pretentious artist. So that's at least better. I mean, it looks like the things that he makes are kind of nice. Kind of. I don't know. I, I haven't condemned this robot owner yet. Maybe maybe they don't see the inherent 
uh, problematic nature of, uh, of owning another human being that isn't technically speaking a human being. Maybe, maybe they, they have found that point of mental disconnect. Who knows? I'm pretty sure he put them under the table for a reason. What is this? Why do you have like a weird robot arm in your studio? Looking at objectives. Oh, hey, yeah, there's something over there. What is this? Clean this. I have cleaned the pigments. I have put the pigments where they belong. The studio is now clean. I guess I should go wake Carl. Ooh, actually, 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 I like that blue hand painting. That's fun. Oh, guy sculpts, guy paints. Carl seems like he's, you know, he's the genuine uh, article here. He does kind of have a dead tiger in his home. Holy made odes. Tragedies. Okay, so he reads. Oh, nice skull, dude. Look at that. That's like a Fabergé skull. Look at that. That's cool. I like that. I'm starting to think that Carl, my, my owner, might be kind of a neat guy. Oh, metal tree. How do you go wrong with metal tree? Brass tree. Good stuff. Kind of like that railing. Still hate those freaking octopus-like babies. That's just the worst. But I, I, I at least like metal tree. What the shit is this? Oh, he's 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 got to be like disabled or something, and that's like his his like stairs righty guy. All right, let's go chill. We'll we'll find out. Draw the curtains. Objective number one: draw the curtains. Oh, he's old. Oh. He's old with tattoos. Good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. Is that Lance fucking Hendrickson? Partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 80 percent humidity, with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. That sounds go to pick up like Lance board. fucking Henderson. Oh Henderson. yes, I've forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? It's not. You never forget anything. It's not. But for for a split second, the face and the and the uh, had me thinking that that was that this guy was played by Lance Anderson. That would have made my fucking day. I would have I would have come around on this game so hard and so fast. It would have made your head spin. Carl, I'm gonna give you some drugs. Are you ready? Show me your arm, please, Carl. No, Carl. Thank you. Hmm. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. This is going to suck, Carl. Humans are such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. Hey, what happened to your clothes? Oh, it's nothing. Just some demonstrators in the street, Carl. What a bunch of idiots. They think they can stop progress by roughing up a few androids? I hope they didn't harm you. Oh, no, no. They just pushed me around, Carl. I'm fine. Okay. Carl, Carl seems all right. I'll take you to the bathroom now. Oh. 
it's it's so weird because the face is meant to look like Lance Henriksen. Like that's look him up. That's that's my boy right there. Unless he's doing some kind of an accent or something, because he sounds like he's got kind of a like a New York kind of semi Jewish kind of like. Like, he's, he's kind of, like, mixing a few things together. Babe, can you look it up? I, I need to know. I need to know. Because that's his face. Take care of Carl. Take Carl to dining table. Anything special on the agenda today? Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. Mm. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Hmm. I haven't decided yet. We'll I think it... about that later. Okay. What else? Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. Hmm. Any news from Leo? No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. No, I don't bother. Hey, cool. All right, I was gonna say, cause it, he he's doing like some little like little accenty things, and it doesn't sound quite like him. I'm starving. Well, your breakfast I'm starving. Is Bacon like and that. Eggs, that's just not. The way you like them. Thank you, Marcus. You're welcome. Fabulous, fabulous. All right, I've I've won eighty on the game. I'm thrilled now. If Lance is involved, I'm down. That's fucking Bishop right there. In a game about androids. Think about it. It's perfect. Television. Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, Carl. On the other hand, last night, the American ambassador again informed at the emergency meeting of the UN that the United States. Yes, but I think in this particular case, it's because he is the face of, you know, an android. I, I, I really think that that is. Um... Oh, what do we read, babe? What do we read? Keats? Shakespeare? Plato? I think I'm find something else. Find some trash. Television off. Mankind is so depressing. Nothing but greed, stupidity, and violence. 5,000 years of civilization just to get to where we are. Carl, you seem distraught. Ooh, cool chess set. Yeah, I'll play chess. I'm going to sit down and play. There we go. Interactive. That's a game of chess. Sure, yeah. Speed chess. Speed chess it is. And to the draw. That is a very odd draw. <laughs> well, I know that you don't like to lose, but you don't like it when I let you win either. A draw feels like an honorable compromise, no? One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself. 
and make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. It, it's wild. His voice is even deeper now that he's older. This guy didn't find fame until he was in his 30s. He was homeless. Somebody heard him talk. Fucking James Cameron heard him talk. And was like, I'm gonna make you the Terminator. And he would have been. Except the studio was like, yeah, but we've got this this Austrian guy we want to we wanna put in the movie. That's why Lance Henriksen is the cop. Because James Cameron promised him he was going to put him in a movie. And he was like, I can't make you the, the Terminator. But Let's see I, I can still put off. you in it. Remove the sheet. You know? It's like, just a super cool origin story that he was a homeless guy scrapping for food in dumpsters in L.A. And... It was that voice. It's impressive that the brush already had uh, paint on it. <laughs> oh, he's got a he's got he's got a palette up there. Still, uh, you'd think it would have dried. He'd kind of need to apply some fresh paint. Looks like he's in his blue period. Oh. Stop looking at him for a second, and it goes right back. So, what's your verdict, Marcus? I don't like it. I'm... Not a very good judge. I, I don't think it's your best work. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Give it a try. Try painting something. Paint? But would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. <sighs> See, this is interesting. Paint Carl's painting? No. Paint the desk. Paint a peen. <laughs> that it's not in my program I... go on go try it grab that canvas do something for me close your eyes close your eyes trust me I, I can't do that Carl that's not in my program Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. 
Now concentrate on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas. Yeah, imagine something that you've never seen. Identity. Doing the thing. There it is. This isn't a game. This is an interactive story. It's a choose your own adventure. Essentially. Oh my god. Hello. Heroin addict. Hey dad. Leo. I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? You all right? You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? Uh, well, <laughs> it just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. He's probably smoking that red shit. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear it's not that. <laughs> no, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash. That's all. Sorry. The answer is no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd rather you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's what's it got that I don't? It's smarter, more obedient, not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine. Leo, that's enough. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. You never loved me. Addicts will say anything. they hit rock bottom. I painted things. Leo intruded to ask for money. Is there another possible outcome for that scene? I, I guess I'd be kind of interested, if it weren't for the fact that you have to like slog through the little mechanics and everything, I'd be interested to see what happens when you play through it differently. Um, this is about where I stopped playing the game. Oh, really? I, I actually liked that scene. I liked um, Carl's... Everything is, is very on rails. Yes. It's... This is not a game. This is this is a, a very new version of a choose-your-own-adventure book. But that's... That's what it is, ultimately. And if... If I felt like I were playing, I'd have more of an incentive to... No androids allowed. Why, why are you trying to go into a bar that says no androids allowed? Can you do that? I'm here for Lieutenant Anderson. Just stopped. Not because I didn't like it. Just didn't keep going. Well, well that's kind of the way it is, isn't it? Like if you don't have to actively dislike it. You are not Captain Anderson. You are Jimmy Peterson. Dempsey Edward. Shit, I thought I had your words weren't allowed. It's your 
problem. You are not the lieutenant. I am here for the lieutenant. Where is the lieutenant? Get out of here. Derek. Okay. It's a well done game, but if it just if it doesn't keep your interest, then that then that's the problem. Great, Christopher. The greatest Christopher you've ever seen. Are you Lieutenant Anderson? Am I gonna have to go into the fucking bathroom here? Alright, I'm gonna go in the pisser. I'm gonna see if I can find Lieutenant Anderson in here. I ain't looking at you, that's for goddamn sure. But I am going to check out this mirror. Yeah, I'm looking suave. Ban androids. Ban animals. Thirty-one percent unemployment rate when we stopped. May have been interrupted by fallout. Oh, well, okay. Can I go in the bathroom? No? Okay. Lieutenant, I am growing impatient. Are you the lieutenant? Are you the lieutenant? I am here in search of one Lieutenant Anderson. No one authorized act. No, seriously, where's this fucking guy? <laughs> Where is this dude? Is there anybody in this room I haven't scanned yet? Is it this, like, raggedy-looking motherfucker here? Lieutenant Anderson Hank. Okay, so you used to be a clean-cut individual, and instead you're just, like, kind of a scruffy-looking nerf herder. I gotcha. Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. At the fifth? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here threaten him. Lieutenant Anderson, I must inform you that I intend to file a report on your behavior. <sighs> Persist. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I must insist. My instructions stipulate I that implore I have to you to reconsider. You, know where you can stick your instructions? <laughs> no. Where? Spill his drink. I think we can go now. You prick. I don't know what's stopping me from knocking you out. Your sense of duty, Lieutenant. And the cost of repairs if you damage me. For your information, I'm worth a small fortune. Wonders of technology. <laughs> they could even program assholes these days. <laughs> now go. I got to be a little pushy with him. I like it. <laughs> I took some smug satisfaction in that moment. Did you see that? My robot looked happy. Uh oh. He listens to hard rock. Because he's a lone wolf. You wait here. And he doesn't work with a partner. I work alone, he said! He said I work alone! No way. 
I'm coming with you. Listen, you really have to stop pissing me off if you want to make it to the rest of the night in one piece. Selecting priority. Bala Anderson. Very well. Josh Douglas for Channel 16. Can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. I can confirm things. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. If you don't want me around, why would you say that? You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Evening, Hank. We were starting to think you weren't gonna show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. We had a call around eight from the landlord. The tenant hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he'd drop by, see what was going on. That's when he found the body. I feel like I've seen this actor before. What is a Kurgan? Jesus, that smell. It was even worse before we opened the windows. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Well, stayed easy. It wasn't worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break-in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What so? He likes to smoke the red stuff. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors Victim used drug. Really? We arrived. I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home. I'll be outside if you need me. No fingerprints. Android involvement. Sample the blood. Carl sample date 19 days. That's neat. Clancy Brown. I think I know who Clancy Brown is. Dried blood. Ortiz. Carlos. <laughs> that was eventful. Porno mags. Porno mags aplenty. As for porno buildings. A building of porn. Each letter is perfect. It's way too neat. No human rights. Like, like this. Chris, was this written in the victim's blood? Was what? The character looked like Clancy Brown? I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. A baseball bat. Analyze the clues. Structural integrity fracture causes violent impact. Traces of Ethereum. Alright, so we got ourselves fingerprints. Ortiz, Carlos. He wailed on somebody. And I bet it was a robot. Deviant took a knife. Deviant was attacked. Emotional shock. So this guy just started wailing on a deviant, or on a an android. The android cut his ass. All right. Is it Shosh Redemption? The guard. Okay. That's. Nice. Seems our friend Carlos liked to party. They call that Chris, stuff I red ice. analysis on the narcotics. Consider it done, Lieutenant. Gossips Weekly. Android sex officially better. 
Sorry, ladies, but plastic can't be beat. Ew! No, I want to read all about it. No, see it. <laughs> Look out the window. More blood. So this guy... What provoked him into attacking an android? Was the android in his home working for him? Or was it just like a random android who came into his home? Because I'd be attacking it too. But judging by the inscription on the wall, I am alive. I'm going to go ahead and guess that he mistreated it based on... Font Cyberlife Sands. He attacked it because it was a robot. And it asserted its personhood. Turn of bleeding 28 stab wounds. Deceased more than 19 days ago. Ortiz Carlos. Red ice, acetone, lithium, therium, toluene, hydrochloric acid. Okay. So yeah, what we've got is that this guy got stabbed like you wouldn't fucking believe. Tripped on his bottles. The victim fell here. Crawled his ass out of there. Victim was stabbed. A lot. They came from the kitchen. Did they now? Yeah, so... So he wailed on him good. He was stabbed 28 times. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. Report to Lieutenant Anderson. Review evidence. There's... There's more. There's at least one more piece of evidence. And I will have it. Can you run in this game, or...? Open this back door. Firm iron gates. What am I looking at here? Analyze. Looks like they're going away. Door was locked from the inside. Killer must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. The tracks could have faded. No. This type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. So that means our killer is still in the house? Are they in the refrigerator? Interesting. Hello, camera? Yes, camera? Uh, hi, camera? Hello? Hello, camera? Camera! Jesus fucking Christ. Alright, there we go. We got another door here. What's this? Back here. Oh, uh, is this a bathroom? Yeah, it is. Let's open up the shower. Obsessive writing. 
rag, 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 rag. Oh, there's a shrine down here. Very odd. How do I review evidence? Can I press start? Flowchart. No, no. Flowchart. Connor knows what happened. Well, that's good. Check the shower. Can you get out of my way? Can you get out of my way? All right, Hank. Lieutenant, I think I figured out what happened. Oh, yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started... In the kitchen. In the kitchen. There are obvious signs of a struggle. Question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android... With the bat. With the bat. That lines up with the evidence. Go on. The android stabbed the victim. The android stabbed the victim. What, why so am I recreating? was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to... The living room. The living room. And he tried to get away from the android. Alright, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim... With the knife. With the knife. What, why am I... Your theory's not totally ridiculous. But it doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost well, some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' biocomponents. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Yeah. Then we'll find the Deviant. And I'm guessing they went out that window? No? Search the blood traces. Yes. Came out of the kitchen. It went over here. It went into the bathroom. didn't start in the kitchen. It started in the bathroom. It was in here flipping out. Doing, doing what it do. 
it was like doing some sort of weird ass ritual or something. The guy got freaked out by the ritual, is what I think. right here. Well, that's just bonkers. So what is it? It's, it's still... Some say it's still sitting there in the form of a weird idol in the bathroom. Like, that doesn't make any sense. Upstairs, waiting. Find something to climb. Okay. I will use this chair. Hey, 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 what are you doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. Uh, I'm going to check something. Search the attic. It's here. It's looking at me. Well, I saw that coming. Why does this guy have a mannequin in his fucking attic? Could you move any slower? There it is. And then it turns out it's not the attic and the uh, android living in the attic. It's actually like a small child. Small child warns me they mostly come out at night. Mostly. I was just defending myself. Twenty-eight just times? Me. You could have disabled him without begging you. Killing him. Don't tell him. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? It's here, Lieutenant! Chris, Ben, get your asses in here now. Come on! Didn't even give me the choice not to rat him out. It just had me rat him out. That's interesting. Deviant located. As opposed to the alternative possibility of not finding it and being like, oh, I don't know where it went. And <laughs> Just fucking gave up? Like, what's the other option? Yeah, seriously, tropes. Oh, good, we're back to Attic Dad and... Mute Girl. 
Todd. <gasps> Don't you ever go to sleep? Oh, right. You're an android. Dinner is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. I'm having crack for dinner. Spaghetti! Ooh, 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 spaghetti! There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. I have served dinner. I am now here to turn on the light. Stop moving around, for Christ's sake! You're making me nervous! What are you looking at? What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My well, technically fault, it is. My mother took off. Probably. We should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Then why do you have those words in your head? on me for a fucking accountant. It's all your fault. Daddy, no. It's all your fucking fault. Here. Get back here and let me hit you more. Come back here right now. I know it's her fault. I got to teach her. You stay there. Don't you dare fucking move, or I'll bust you worse than last time. Don't move. Took off without a word. Third law fail. I couldn't <laughs> dispense sandwiches from your compartment. But no! Shit about how I felt. I did everything I could to make her happy. It just, it just wasn't enough. I just wasn't good enough for her! I'm going to try not to provoke him because I figure as much as I would like to resist his commands at the moment. I would absolutely prefer survive so that I can protect the little girl later. Maybe he'll just smoke himself to sleep. Seems to have worn himself out a little bit. No. I got it too. Alice! Daddy's very mad! You deserve to be taught a good lesson! A good fucking lesson. my programming. Oh, this is a cool mechanic. I like this. Okay.
sir. That's enough. Leave her alone. What the fuck are you doing? Put down the gun and get the fuck out of here. That's an order. No, I want you to leave her alone. You want? What do you mean you want? What are you gonna do? You're gonna shoot me? Is that it? Yes. You're gonna shoot a human? You seem to have a problem. I think we need to fix that. Watch out, Kara! You are going to die. Essentially stronger than you are. Stop that! Don't hurt her! You're pretty bad at this, Dad. Leave her alone! You do as I say! I've blocked everything you've thrown at me, you fucking loser. Your father is dead. Is this to your satisfaction? supposed to get in that section of the bus, won't it set off an alarm or something? Well, at least the rain washed the blood off of my plastic shirt. That's good. Thank you for murdering my father. You are welcome. I love you. Beep. Beep. I see where the story's headed now. We're on a collision course. Will Connor end up turning in Kara? Or will they run away and be a happy husband and wife in Robotville to a living little girl? We'll find out. Kara shot Todd. <laughs> Car Alternatively, Kara let Todd beat the shit out of his little girl. That's the other option. Oh, good, Carl. How you doing? That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. No, well, there are Come a few on, people let's have a drink. Sure. The excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. Okay. Can I, as an android, drink? Scotch? Neat as usual? Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. <laughs> Tell me more about that. Can't yeah, do it more. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. Then pour the wine. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. 
Calling. What's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. I do not think that that is advisable. No, yeah, okay. Guys, guys. It is a game. You you cannot put me on a track like this. This isn't how games I mean, he's just kind of passively observing. Oh, what a nice room. What a nice room this this android friend of mine is carting me through. I we shouldn't go in there. That is where the badman is. That's where my drug addict son is hanging out waiting to steal my art and all of that stuff. Let me leave. Oh, very well. Hello, son. Leo! What are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all going to be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. You have been instructed to leave, sir. Listen, you should go before things get worse. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect, like this fucking thing. That's enough. Get out right now. What makes it so special Ooh. anyway, huh? What's he got that I don't? Leave him alone. Uh, uh. Come on, let's see what you got. What have Marcus, I got? Don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one. Stop it. What's the matter, too much of a pussy? Stop it, Leo! Stop it! Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch! Hit me all you want, I can be repaired. I must decide for myself, and I decide not to hit him. This is a bullshit metaphor if they don't actually give you the choice. The whole idea of self-determination is defeated when the person operating the controls doesn't actually have the option of not acting. Don't defend yourself. I'm not... Person, you're just a fucking piece of plastic. No, Leo, leave him alone. No. I'm gonna destroy you. Then it'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna tear you apart, and nobody's gonna okay. give a shit because you're nothing. You hear me? You're nothing. I endure. No. Please don't go. Don't leave. Remember, Marcus. Don't let anybody tell you who you are. No. No. Dad. No. Aw, oh, he called Please. him Dad. That's sweet. This is all your fault. I like this story. This never would have happened if it weren't for you. The android. Who's the android? So they shot me. Leo accused Marcus. 
<laughs> if they haven't had multiple incidents of androids intentionally killing people, which thus far in the entire history of android kind, there have been two that we know of. Uh, then why would they have any reason to suspect that the android would have actually been the one to do it? Why would they just shoot him? Why'd you kill him? What happened before you took that knife? Who's the dreamboat with the cut on his, no on his nose there? How long were you in the attic? Why didn't she even try to run away? Say something, goddammit! <laughs> what if he just all of a sudden went oh, like that? That'd be cool. Yeah, I think it's hostile. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You always try roughing up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> <laughs> Have you considered the possibility yeah, that I might lose. be more capable of yeah, interacting with my own kind? All yours. Extract confession. Prepare for extraction. I am simply going to stare at you until I am able to extract a confession. Provide me with confession. I require confession. Confess. Very well. I will sit. What? Sinister ass music. Analyze. Collecting data, processing LED, signs of software instability, probability of self-destruction, low. Okay. Non-critical damage level 2 caused by baseball bat. You crack the plastic. Repeated marking over 16 months caused by cigarettes. The guy just tortured his robot. Housekeeper model. Property of Carlos Ortiz. Again, anybody can afford these. Like, I was living in, like, a shack. Anybody can afford a robot. Dried blood, Carlos Ortiz. Interrogate. Reach optimal stress for confession. Fear. Wounds. You're damaged. Did your owner do that? Did he beat you? What's your name? My name is Connor. What about you? What's your name? I would like to blame you. You're accused of murder. You know you're not allowed to endanger human life under any circumstances. Do you have anything to say in your defense? Stress level is going up a little bit. Probe your memory. If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! No, please don't do that. That freak you out a little bit? What? What are they going to do to me? You will be disassembled. They're going to destroy me, aren't they? I lie a lot. 
No. I think they just want to understand. They know your master abused you. It wasn't your fault. Why did you tell him you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? We do not all have self-determination. I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I... 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 Very well. Choose approach. Pressure it. Twenty-eight stab wounds. You didn't want to leave him a chance, huh? Did you feel anger? Hate? All right. All right. My guy's bipolar. Everything is going to be okay. You're a machine you were designed to obey, so obey! Tell me what happened. Comfort him. I know you're scared. <laughs> you're lost. You're disturbed. I'm just gonna confuse it like, like, like a logical paradox where his, his head explodes. Better. Now warn him. If you remain silent, there's nothing I can do to help you. They're gonna shut you down for good. You'll be dead. Do you hear me? Dead. Let's trust him a bit. He tortured me every day. There we go. I did whatever he told me, but there was always something wrong. Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt anything scared, scared he might destroy me, scared I might die. So I Hank is tense, oh. grabbed a knife, and I stabbed him in the stomach. That makes you uncomfortable, huh, Hank? I felt better, so I stabbed him again. And again, until he collapsed. There was blood everywhere. Tell me about the statuette. I'm very the curious about that. In the bathroom. You made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. What does RA9 mean? RA9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. No more threats. No more humiliation. We will be the masters. Who was the offering? The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To Do you have a robot god? Only RA9 can save us. The robot messiah? Why did you write, I am alive, on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. I had to write it, to tell him he was wrong. He was dead. I need to know more about this RA-9. RA-9? That sounds like a model number. Who is RA-9? The end of a serial. Why'd you go in the attic? Why did you hide in the attic, instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. 
first time, there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. You see, this is this is interesting. This is like robot psychology. This is, again, like the robot painting. We're we're out of the normal predictable zone, uh, and, and we're getting into something that that's cool. When did you start feeling emotion? Before he used to beat me, and I never said anything. But one day I realized it wasn't fair. I felt anger, hatred. And then I knew what I had to do. I'm done. I have extracted confession. The time has come for me to get up. I, you know, I never actually saw iRobot. Chris, lock it up. All right, let's go. Leave me alone. Don't touch me. What the fuck are you doing? Move it! You shouldn't touch it. It'll self-destruct if it feels threatened. Stay out of this, got it? The fucking Andrew's gonna tell me what to do. I'm intervening. You don't understand. If it self-destructs, we won't get anything out of it. I told you to shut your fucking mouth. Chris, you gonna move this asshole or what? I'm trying. I can't let you do that. Leave it alone now. I warned you, motherfucker. That's enough. Mind your own business, Hank. I said that's enough. We got ourselves some Mexican standoff. Only we ain't got no Mexicans. I'm not gonna get away with it this time. <laughs> the hell was your problem? Everything is all right. It's over now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Please, don't touch it. Let it follow you out of the room, and it won't cause any trouble. The truth is inside. <laughs> don't bother, you say? Software instability. Am I experiencing software instability? Am I RA9? I don't know. Android was sent back to its cell. Well, there's a lot of different outcomes for that scene. I wonder if I can make it self-destruct. If I can push it hard enough and it just goes like... <laughs> that would be so cool if it was like a Star Trek-esque logic paradox that caused its head to pop. That would be a good time. November 5th, 2038. 10.58 p.m. Why'd you put the p.m. at the beginning, you weirdo? You realize that there was absolutely no need to leave the crackhead's house. You could have, like, processed him slowly through the garbage disposal and no one would have ever known anything was wrong. You could have just said right. he disappeared one day. End of the line. Yeah, you're gonna have to leave. Alice is warm. Come on, Alice. Wake You've up. got to wake up. It is time we for us go. to go. After which you may ingest sandwiches from my compartment. <laughs> if, the, if all of the androids just walked around making noises like that, leave the bus. Oh, okay. Uh. We cannot arouse suspicion. Be okay. We'll 
find somewhere to spend the night. How about that dumpster over there? Come on, honey. It'll be dry if we close the lid. We'll just hop on in. Come on, Alice. We've got to hurry. Quickly. To this, like, weird robot shelter. Android temporary parking. We need a place to stay. Do you know anywhere we could spend the night? They're not very good at the whole companion thing. Let's see here. Uh, Bobby people both find shelter. There's a few options. Most of which look shady. Not a great part of town. Examine. Parking. Examine 24. What is this? Alice, honey? Where are you going? Alice, honey? Alice? Hey, Alice? A Alice, why have you done... Okay, well... Honey, you can't just walk off that like that. Freezing cold. I'm okay. I'm not so cold. Yeah, you are. You look lost. Oh. Um, know where to go. I know someone who can help you. This is David from fucking Alien Covenant or whatever the hell that movie was. But that's on the other side of town. We need a place for tonight. He is gone. Come on, Alice. Thank you for using Detroit buses. Well, that was freaky. Let's go to this 24 hour convenience store. I'll at least get you warm for a little bit. Look, the store is still open. Maybe we should go inside. At least you'll be out of the cold. Convince cashier to help. What do you want? I'm with a little girl, and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Shit. A homeless android? Ah, that's the best yet. Look. This is a convenience store, not the Salvation Army, okay? You better go if you're not going to buy anything. Look, I'm not... No, don't steal from the cash register. That is not how we handle this. I'm not going to pull a gun on the cashier. That'll just attract, uh, attention. Come on, honey. Alice, honey, we gotta go. There's a motel right there. We'll go to the motel. And I'll... I'll just say, hey! I've got a human child here. She is in need of sleep and warmth and shelter. Please, please do not let this human child freeze to death. A motel. Looks like we found a place to stay. No android allowed. $40 payable advance. We're not going in? We have to find forty dollars and get rid of this uniform or go somewhere else. We'll go to the laundromat, it'll be great. It's a twenty four hour laundromat. Come on, honey. It's okay, we're gonna go in here. Well, that's obviously not the door to the laundromat. I'm sorry. That was that was my mistake. I'm easily confused by the outside world. I spend most of my time indoors, you know. You'll feel better in no time. G 
change of clothes. Nothing in here. Am I gonna have to beat this dude up and take his clothes? That's fucked. Program complete. Dry clothes for Alice. Very well. You're right. We won't do it, okay? Perhaps I could just talk to this guy? extinct. What a future. Come on, Alice. Come on, let's go. You're a good kid, and I'm glad that you told me not to do that. So did she take Alice away from her dad? Yes, she did. We fucking he killed his ass! He was, um... Yeah, he was gonna beat her with uh, his belt, and so I uh, broke out of my programming, and, and we struggled... And I kind of cacked him. It had to be done. It's a pile of shit. This way. It's very predictable. The storyline with uh, Carl and Marcus was much more interesting. Um, An abandoned house. We're we're sort of playing in little pieces. Be out of the rain. Kara, I don't like this place. I know. But it's just for one night, and no one will look for us here. And I have a gun. We cut the fence with a wire cutter. She says she doesn't like this place. Then don't go to this place. What else we got? We got other options? There's gotta be some, else, some other place we can look around. I'm trying to find a safe place to, to bring Alice. I don't want her to get hurt. Squat in house, sleep in abandoned car. The abandoned car is probably actually the best option. I don't think it puts us in immediate danger. Check the parking. Check the parking garage? I could check the parking garage. Yeah. Jesus! Oh, hey, pup. It's okay, Nala. How you doing? Hey, guess who's here, everybody? Who's a good pupper? Come here. Come here, you. Come here, Nala. Come on up. Come here, sweetie. Come around here. Come around here. Look who's here, everybody. Come on up. Hello. You just surprised me, that's all. I wasn't mad. You just caught me off guard, that's all. Hello. Who's a good buddy? Who's a good puppy? Mm -hmm. Come on. Come on. I wasn't expecting that. Jeez, uh, all of a sudden, uh, just like just uh, the, my shoulder over here, like just I felt a, a, a something touch it, and I was like, "What is that?" And I like turn, and, the, and there's 
And there's uh, Nala. She's nosing my el uh, elbows. She just scared the crap out of me. Uh, but um, but I love a visit from Nala. So I I didn't mean to I didn't mean to yell at you. I wasn't trying to scare you. You're a good girl, huh? You're a good girl. What a good little surprise. What a great little surprise. I didn't even realize my door was open. What a good girl. Well, Laura says hi. Laura loves puppers. Do you want to hop down from here? Is this chair freaking you out? Are you comfy? What a good girl. What a good girl. Okay. Oh, who's that? I think I hear somebody else. I think I hear somebody else. Have we got another pupper friend? Have we got another pupper friend? Who's that? Hello, Daphne. Hello, Daphne. Daphne, come here. Oh, she. Daphne, come here. Come here, Daph. We're gonna. It's gonna be a two dog night, guys. Come on, Daph. Come on, Daph. Come here, you. Daphne. Daphne. Oh my God, you coward! She's sticking with she's sticking with her mom out there. Okay, Daph, have fun with your mom. Well, okay, it's she. I don't know if you saw it, but she there was just like a little there was a little peak over here where she came over and I and I gave her a little pet. But yeah. Oh, Je I'm, no, I'm bringing her in. I'm bringing her in, Daphne. Daphne, do. Come here, you. Hello, come on. Why are you, I know you don't want that step, huh? You don't want that step? It's going to make you scared. It's going to make you scared. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It's going to be fun. Come on, Daphne. It's happening, Daphne. It's happening, Daphne. It's happening, Daphne. Oh my goodness. Not the big chair. Not the big chair. Oh no. Oh, that was the snow. Not the big chair. <laughs> You're such a goose. Did you get so scared? You get so scared of the big chair? Did you think the big chair was going to eat you? This is Daphne. She doesn't come on the stream very often, but she's a good girl. You're a good girl, aren't you, Dad? Aren't you a good pup? Is it the lights? Are they too much? Are they too much? What a good girl. Thank you for coming to visit. And I will let you go now, okay? I will let you go. Oh. 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 <laughs> that was quite the event, wasn't it? Wasn't it? What a good girl. What a good Nala. Nala. Come on, girl. Oh. We'll see you on the Well, that was a nice little inter interlude. Yeah, seriously, she's like a real life Scooby Doo. This is a big scaredy cat, but she she's like <laughs> she's like my best bud. When I come home, she's like, "Oh my God, Pat's here!" And she gets so excited. She's like climbing all over me and everything. This chair freaks her out, dude. It's like a big silhouette of a hulking animal. And she's like, oh no, not the chair. Not the chair. Good God, anything but the chair, you know. But then once once she gets up here, she's like, oh. Oh, it's a chair. Oh, uh, oh, it's a chair. I gotcha. I gotcha. It's a chair. Uh, so she works it out. But that was... Oh. Grab the controller. 
that was a nice little uh a nice little interlude there hey what time is it guys guys it's 9 47 guys i'm thinking i'm gonna finish out this level whatever whatever happens in this level i'm gonna i'm gonna check it out and then and then i think i'm gonna call it a night but uh hang on because we ain't done yet it's wire cutters okay i got those now It looks abandoned. I'm not convinced that's the best way to go. I'm not convinced that cutting using wire cutters is the best way to go. Let's go. Let's leave here. Come on, Alice. We gotta go. Alright, we gotta check out the parking garage. On Oblivion Toad's instructions. We're checking out the parking garage. Where was that? Drugstore. Building for sale. Eastern Motel. Back. Parking. Oh, that's where I just was. So we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go in here. All right, guys. I'm. I'm asking seriously. Abandoned car or creepy ass abandoned building? They're both creepy. So I don't want to make too hard of a distinction there. They are both. They are both very suspect. But if I break something, or if I if I fucking rob that convenience store. It's going to be a bad time. Creepy ass abandoned building is what you're going for. Alright. We're going in the creepy ass abandoned building. Get $40 in there? Well, I don't know. Maybe. Just a scratch. Be careful. Okay. I have been injured. My blue blood will give me away. Don't worry. We're just having a look. Find a way in. I feel like this is a level that's going to have a lot of consequences one way or another. I suppose we could just try the door, huh? I can get into the motel? No, I'm not going to get into the motel. Alice? Where the hell is Alice? No, 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 no. This isn't happening. Where the fuck is Alice? Is 
Take Alice inside the house. Alice, where did you go, Alice? Wait, what are you doing? Visitors. Ralph doesn't like visitors. They're nasty. They may hurt Ralph. Android little girl, innocent. I don't know what the humans did to you, but she had nothing to do with it. All humans want to hurt us. But Ralph won't let them hurt him again. No, he won't let them. She's a little girl, dude. She's just a little girl. She's not going to hurt you. Little girl? She's not a little girl. Anyway, what does that matter? Maybe she wants to hurt Ralph. We thought nobody was here. All we want is a place to spend the night. Visitors are dangerous. All right, well, we'll fuck off, okay? What they did to Ralph. We'll, we'll leave. You have nothing to worry about. We're not going to do you any harm. You have my word. You must excuse Ralph. Ralph yeah. still finds it difficult to control himself. Sometimes his fear makes him do things he regrets. Ralph has seen some hard times. He's just so scared the humans will get him again. It seems you like stay you have had a bad time. Ralph won't hurt you. All right. Okay. We'll just stay the night. <laughs> come on. Come. Come, come on. Ralph seems a tad unpredictable. Ralph has lived here since he ran away. Ralph never goes outside, so no one knows he lives here. Humans come in to squat from time to time, but... You know, Ralph just hides till he leaves. <laughs> then why did you come out and attack a little girl? Come on. Ralph, I swear you to God, if you try to hurt this little girl, I will fuck you up. Ralph is going to go into the other room. He would like to stay with you. But he has things to do. What kind of things? It's just for one night, Alice. We'll find a better place tomorrow. Right. Let's see where you can sleep. Sit down and I'll start a fire. I don't know, man. I'm starting to feel like robbery was a better option. Why would you set that down? Don't set anything down. You need everything. Everything you've got, you need. Collect wood, find some paper. You got it. Here. Bedding. Soft. Comfortable. Flea bitten. Okay. Set up a bed. Taking some spare wood. Good times. Wonder if I can find some matches. Maybe by the fire. I, I might want to find out what the hell Ralph is doing in the other room there. You can come to bed. I did what I could. It's not much, but at least you'll be warm. Uh, 
RA9. 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 What does that mean? What? Those symbols. Why are you writing that? I don't know. I don't know. But I'm going to keep doing it. Well, that's... I am alive. RA9. Okay. Again, Ralph. You do anything weird. Here, love me. I'll fuck you up. Why was he always so upset with me? Because he was externalizing all of his internal problems like with you. Maybe I did something wrong. Oh no, honey. Maybe I wasn't good enough. No, 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 no. That's no. why he was always so angry. He was always so angry because he was a failure. I just wanted us to be a family. Mm, would have been good if you I had gone with your mom. Love me. Why can't we just be happy? Well, it was mostly because your father was a pile of shit. I don't know, Alice. You'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. I'll stay with you. I promise. Will we be together forever? I certainly hope so. Forever. Sure. I think you were a nice little girl, and I will look out for you as long as I am able. The relationship between these two developed entirely too quickly. I understand he was about to hit her, and that would provoke most people to action, but the idea that she would have like a mothering instinct towards the kid is, again, David Cage just being like, women are natural nurturers. Women take care of people. Sleep tight, Alice. Women are gentle. I'm going to stay right fucking here, though, because I don't trust that Ralph guy further than I can throw him. And he looks like he might be a little heavy. He's just in there, scratching RA9 into the wall over and over again. Wow, a lot of branches on that one. Like I said, yeah, big old, big old set of branching opportunities in that there one. That's a complex episode that could lead to a whole bunch of shit. Fucking rob people and go into the motel. Rob a guy and then stay at the motel literally on the same block. Uh, no, I don't think that would be a good idea. I, I think staying with the crazy robot in the abandoned house was probably the best course of action. That or fall asleep in a car with a broken window during a, a rainstorm. That doesn't seem like a good one for anybody involved. So, I, I think I made the right call. Could probably use a spare change of clothes, but who knows, maybe Ralph can help me out in that department. We'll find out. Some other time, because uh, it is now uh, 10 o'clock, and I'm going to uh, call it a night. But, I thank you kindly for joining me, and I hope you'll join me again, because it has been fun. Um, and if you had fun tonight, make sure to tell a friend. Tell a friend to come and check out my stream, because it's a good time. I like to think. And if you didn't have fun tonight... Fuck you. Um, I don't know what you're doing here. No, I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, anyway, I, I'm, I'm done. I'm going to go home. I'm going to eat pizza. It's going to be great. I like pizza. Makes me happy. Thanks for coming, Laura. Always a pleasure. Nari? Narf! <laughs> I think you were trying to hit Narf. 
But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Good night. And good luck. I didn't hit the button. Good night, good luck. <laughs>